Okay, uh, I'm going to share with you a couple of uh, tools. Uh, one is a vinyl cutter that you can put in your uh, CNC uh, mill. You just chuck it up like this and then uh, it'll follow your uh, uh, program. And what this is, is it's a, a little device that's sprung here. I don't know if you can see it, but... And the reason for that spring is, is to load the cutter on an uneven surface. So you don't have to have it perfect. This moves a little over a quarter of an inch, so you load it, you bring your quill down an eighth of an inch, and it's loaded, and even if it's even if it's uneven, it will spring up and down and still make the cut. Now you can buy these cutters that spin 360 degrees anywhere they sell vinyl cutter parts. But uh, just go ahead and there's a spring in here that loads this. It allows it to go up and down. And then uh, you cut the hole uh, uh, for your cutter. That, that's no big deal. Now, if you're cutting thicker material, naturally... You want your cutter a little deeper. This is made for oh, uh, real, real thin uh, material, such as vinyl or the uh, clear acetate or even paper. But anyway, that's that's all it is. It loads in there, and then you bring your quill down, and then run your program. That's one tool, and then this tool, it looks like a pen, and it is, but. What this is, is uh, you can draw, uh, you, you can uh, uh, turn your mill into a, uh, you can draw pictures with it. This, this is loaded too. This is loaded about a quarter of an inch. So what you do is you load this in either in a 3 8 um, collet or chuck, or you can put the cap back on, screw it on, now this is a 5 8 so you can also put it in a mill that has a, a uh, holder that has a uh, set screw because I've, I've milled a flat spot in there. So it'll fit in any of those. Then you bring your, uh, you bring your uh, quill down and load it. Bring it down about an eighth of an inch and see this spring. So if you have, say if you're putting your paper or whatever on wood or preferably sheet metal so it's smooth. If there's a little bit of waviness in it, this takes the, uh, it takes it up and it will draw the picture. So you can turn a, uh, a CNC mill into a, a plotter. Of course, it's limited by your uh, movement of your X and Y axis. And I just thought I'd uh, share that with you. Um, I've used both of these tools and they work fine. They, they work just as, in, as intended. So there you go.